In this lecture, we're going to talk about circular sector, arc length, and the area. Let's consider this circle, which is centered at the origin with the radius r. So that makes this point to be r0, this one would be 0r, negative r0, and 0, negative r. A central angle is an angle that has a vertex at the origin, and the side of it extends to the edge of the circle. And the central angle measures in radians. So the sides of this angle, they are also r, the same as ra radius. And the portion of the circle that this central angle intersects has a length of s. Now this right here, it's our circular sector. There are a couple of formulas about this that we're interested to know and we're interested to use. One is the arc length. which is s equal to r theta. Now keep in mind that theta must be in radians. Now the other thing is the area of the sector. And the area of the circular sector is one half r squared theta. Now, if you're interested to find how, you know, to basically learn about these formulas and find out how they were derived, you need to be in calculus to learn about it. Now let's take a look at some examples. We want to find the arc length of a circular sector with radius 5 centimeters and central angle of let's say 45 degrees. Well, the formula for the arc length is s equal to r times theta. But we need to pay attention that theta must be in radians. Now, we're given the radius of 5 and the 45 degree central angle in terms of radian is pi over 4 radians. So the answer is 
0.25 pi centimeters. Now let's look at another example. We want to find the area of a circular sector with radius 6 inches and central angle of 5 pi over 12 radians. The formula for the area of a sector is one half r squared theta. Once again, theta must be in radians. Now the radius of this circle is 6 and the central angle of this circular sector is 5 pi over 2 radians. So there is no need to make any conversion. The last example we had it in degrees and we had to convert it to radians before we applied the formula. So this is one half, 36 over 1, and 5 pi over 12. We're going to simplify this. 12 goes into 36 three times. So the area would be 15 pi divided by 2, but it's the area, so it would be inches squared. Now of course you can put it in decimals so that would be 7.5 pi inches squared. 